Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. Today I wanted to share with you guys uh, the October spreads in my N2 Sterling Inc. Compact Health Planner. Um, I have been slacking, I would say, in this book for the past month. Quick chunk update. So I took this out of the leather cover I had it in and it is just sitting in the clear cover here, which is by Lauren Phelps Designs. And this book has gotten so chunky, like, oh my goodness, she is, <sighs> she's a beast. Um, this book is the skinny version um, that Sterling Inc. sells, and it is starting to turn into almost a full year size, uh, in my opinion. Anyways, I'm going to just crack this baby open and share with you guys my month of October in my health planner, which was pretty uneventful. <laughs> So starting off with the year at a glance section here, I am still keeping track of my pain management, tracking pain, if you will, um, depression, stomach issues, and headaches. I did have quite a few headaches in October compared to September, and I honestly think it was because we had a lot of really dry weather, which was like not usual at all for October for us here in Texas. We usually have like a really wet October, and it's been very, very dry. So... I'm blaming my headaches on the weather. I don't think it was because of anything else. As for the rest of these beginning pages, no updates here. Everything is still the same. And for my quarterly page here, I um, I failed <laughs> this month, guys. So I have been trying to get back on my exercise wagon after completing my 10K race back in July. It has now been several months since then, and I've... I've been really inconsistent and the only thing I can tell myself is that it's going to be okay and I will move on from it. It's not that big of a deal and yes, it's part of my goals for this year and I'm still working on that and it's still this year so I still have time to work on that and I'm trying to just give myself grace and be kind to myself for not going to exercise like I want to or honestly probably need to for my mental sanity <laughs> but October was a crappy month for exercise. I did run a few times. We went on a good hike um, at the state park near us. And yeah, it's just been kind of an off month for exercise, I would say, just based on what I could keep track of and what I actually managed to get done in terms of exercise. For the monthly section in this planner, I have been using this as a mood tracker, if you will. I have been loving still using the Emoti Head stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And just kind of denoting, you know, a mood a day with a little, you know, brief two, three words of my feelings. I would say it's probably like an average mood of the day. In October, we were meant to go on a vacation. And that vacation ended up getting canceled due to some family emergencies and um, that kind of put a damper, I would say, on my mood. But at the same time, we kind of had almost a staycation, if you will. We just took things really easy for the time that we were supposed to be going away. But it, it happens. I mean, I'm kind of bummed, but it is what it is. And I made the best of the situation, even though we didn't actually get to go on vacation. <sighs> it's okay. For the weekly section in this book, I have kept up with the same layout through almost, I would say, the whole year. And I've been really enjoying this still. I don't really want to make any changes with my layout. It's working really well for me. Um, it's easy to maintain and I, I enjoy it, I guess. So for this first week of October, I just tracked my meals over here, fasting time, meal ideas, how am I feeling, what am I grateful for, not grateful for, happy moments, and then like weekly routine. And I think the mental health check-in section here, the how am I feeling, is really what resonates me resonates with me for these pages in terms of, like, reflection. I do find it really interesting to see, like, the different meals that I write down, how consistent I am eating, like, the same things, and how it's not necessarily the best things. But it was also really interesting for me to see going from only drinking tea for the past few months in October, I switched back to coffee, and how much different... I feel, which um, I'll talk a bit about once we get to the trackers in the back. But this first week of <clears throat> uh, October here, what I did for me was I watched a new cooking show. So we got a cooking show on our TV called Patty's Table, I think. Yeah, Patty's Table. And it was Mexican recipes. And it was kind of fun to watch her just cook authentic Mexican food and give the recipes for it. So I don't know, kind of fun. 
for the second week of October, I went with the Sticky Club Deco, by the way, which is all, all of these pages will have Sticky Club Deco. I'm making my, making my way through my Sticky Club sheets. But for the second week of October, um, what I did for me was I made an apple tart. So kind of in a baking mood or cooking mood, I guess, for October. Um, I definitely made cookies. I made brownies. I made an apple tart. I, what else did I make? I made lots of different baked goods. I was definitely in a baked mood for October. I was really enjoying cooking for, for sure. For the third week of October, I said that I, oh, I got a Subway sandwich. Okay, so another fun thing about October for me, re reading back at this, is we got Subway for like the first time in like, gosh, years. <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been since I had a Subway sandwich past this month. But um, I got a Subway sandwich and I was just like in love, I guess. And I wanted a Subway sandwich like for three or four days after that. And we did get Subway like a few times in the last two weeks of October because I was just craving Subway sandwiches. <laughs> There's something, it's something in the bread. I'm telling you, it's, it's definitely something in the bread. Anyways, and then the last week of October, technically, um, I ended up adopting a puppy. So that was my, what I did for me for this week. And I will definitely be sharing more of her in um, other videos. I'll hopefully share pictures of her in my garden journal. And then I'll also talk about her a bit more in my A5 planner. So if you're curious about my puppy, that will be in those videos, but her name is Aria and she is a blue healer mix and she's absolutely adorable. So stay tuned if, you, if you're interested in really fun photos of her because she's just the cutest little baby that there ever was. Anyways, I would definitely say this last week of October is when I kind of fell off the wagon with the cooking bit that I was talking about and we were having like pizza subway again we got yakisoba and pupusas and like we were just going out because I didn't feel like cooking anymore which I am the main person who cooks in my family and I'm perfectly okay every now and then going out to eat I'm just trying to make it less of a habit for this year and I would say I'm not doing the best about that especially towards the end of the year but it's okay I'm being easy on myself about it Okay, then for the tracker pages in the back, I start off with my sleep, mood, and stress tracker over here, and then habits. And I would say, based on the trending information that I have here, caffeine makes me sleep, which I never, ever thought I would say. So, like I mentioned, from previous months, I have been drinking tea, and I feel like my sleep has been a lot less... Like I've been, my sleep has been, I guess, more over all over the place when I was drinking the tea. And then when I moved back to coffee for this month, it's been consistently high. Like days like eight, nine, 10 hours of sleep for a majority of the days. Now this could be the coffee reintroducing that back in my system, or it could be the change in daylight because it is getting closer to, you know, darker hours, like the seasons changed. I don't know if that's part of it too, but it also could be less exercise. There's so many things that could have been factored in here, but um, I definitely think it's interesting to see me reintroducing coffee and then seeing my sleep levels go up after reintroducing coffee. So I don't know what that means for me yet, but I may go back to not drinking coffee. It just depends on, I guess, how I want to interpret the data and see what happens. Moving on. For the next section in the back here, I have my workout planner and or workout planner, workout section. And as you can see, I did nothing. I didn't go to the gym once in October. And again, I'm trying to be kind to myself about this and then improve on it in future months. But definitely, I I definitely slipped slipped on this one. I I was I was dropping the ball. So October here, I just wrote a little I guess, review of how I'm not really proud of myself for not going to the gym, but I did write down that I prioritized my sleep and then I also prioritized a lot of business things. So I'm hoping that next month is going to be better. And I think having that little brief review is helpful for me and hopefully will help me be better in future months. Same thing could be said for my running long hair. I wrote down the three runs slash the hike that we went on in October 
And I like seeing that the data is here. I like seeing that I'm still consistently running every month since my race, but I would like to see more runs, especially since the weather is getting cooler and it's a lot nicer to be outside versus running in 90 degree heat, which is what I was running in. So I'm excited to, again, move forward and be better next month, especially looking at the review of October being that I was, you know, lacking in my exercise and my runs and things like that. Anyways, the final section in this book is, well, not final section, but one of the final sections in this book is my media log. And October, we have been rewatching Game of Thrones, or I've been rewatching Game of Thrones. My boyfriend has been watching it for the first time. And we are getting closer and closer to the end. We, I guess, consider, it's considered like binging it, right? Because we're watching multiple episodes at a time. Um, and we are almost done with season seven. And so we only have one season left to go until we finish the whole series. And let me tell you, it has been a journey. Game of Thrones is just, I, I am in awe of the imagination that created that world because it, it just blows my mind. Every new episode is just like, what could happen next? What, what could happen next? Like, what? Um, yeah, so I'm excited to finish it and see the finale. I'm hoping that my favorite character's not gonna die, but it seems like a lot of the characters that I like die, so it's okay. Um, yeah, I also watched Practical Magic on Halloween. That is one of my favorite movies to watch on Halloween. I was gonna watch Hocus Pocus, but I didn't pull it out in time, and it was already bedtime, and Halloween was over, and it's okay, I'll watch it next year or whenever I want. But Practical Magic and Hocus Pocus are usually my two go-tos for October because they're my favorite witchy movies and they're really, really fun and really, really cute. Okay, then the actual last sections. This is the recipe book, re recipe book, recipe section. I have not added anything here. I've talked about that in so many videos now. But the last section here is my reading tracker that I added um, mid-year using one of my reading stickers, reading tracker pages from my shop. And for October, I finished almost the Crave series by Tracy Wolf. I have one book left. I think it's called Cherish. Um, I didn't want to spend any more money on books since I already have all of the Harry Potter books. And I want to wait and see. Um, since I've been really wanting to read the Harry Potter, I really want to read the Harry Potter books now because I'm, I'm kind of good. I'm, I'm at a good place that I can take a break with the world with Tracy Wolf. Charm and um, Court were the last two books in that Crave series and they were both really great and very exciting and twists and turns and it was really cool to see the like development of the love story between two of the characters and I really enjoyed them but I'm definitely kind of ready for a break of of that writing um, and I'm going to try to go into Harry Potter which I did start on the either second to to last week of October or the last week of October and I've been enjoying it so far I'm on the first book you know Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I was really surprised at the writing style of JK Rowling it's very easy to read so um I'm hoping I'm just gonna kind of fly through the first few books and get to the more nitty-gritty like darker sorcery type stuff um as the books go on I'm really excited to keep reading them anyways that is pretty much it for my health planner I am definitely excited to move into my new 2025 books just because I finished that setup and it has been, ugh, I don't know, it's been on my mind ever since I finished the setup and I keep, I keep reaching for the Hobonichi weeks that I set up for that. Uh, yeah. But anyways, I am still really happy in this book. I'm still happy with the Sterling Ink pages. I'm still happy with how this book is holding up and I'm excited to finish in this book but I think it's just that time of year where I'm ready to move on to the next thing. My creativity is flowing more towards futuristic things and I kind of want to just move forward. And I'm hoping that once I finish this book in November, I will still have the motivation to finish December in here. But if not, the beauty of the Hobonichi Weeks is it does have December of the previous year in the weekly pages so I may just move straight into there in December we shall see we shall see but anyways if you have any questions about my health planner um, I'm gonna stop rambling on now but you can ask those down in the comments and if you're interested in any of the other flip throughs I will be doing for October stay tuned those videos will be coming to my channel um, I will probably have a playlist at some point if I haven't already made one by the time this video goes up anyways have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye